Welcome to the Open House Podcast, where women talk real estate. I'm Steph Douglas. And I'm Christina Moderis. We're a little rusty with not, I don't know. I'm just thinking back to when we, two days ago, when we tried to record a YouTube video oh. and we oh. were just couldn't remember one sentence. Literally one <laughs> sentence. You, should, you were like, you can break it up. And I was like, it's one sentence. I don't think I can. <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, whatever. It's fine. It, but it's, it's, it, that's how anything goes. Like if you don't practice something con- like so much, it's, you will, your brain's like, we don't need that anymore. Drop it. Oh my it. God. I just, yeah. Props to anyone who's on TV or on video. It's just, it's so hard and impressive. Yes. Um, how's it going? Good. Uh, it's been a really nice, like we, so far it's what, you know, February ish and or late February. And we've had like such a good year of optimization. Like it Mm -hmm. hasn't been tons of earnings just because real estate is weird, but it has been a lot of like us getting really clear and aligning and it just feels good. Yeah. Um, When you say real estate's weird, you mean like because (laughs) uh, interest rates are kind of higher than usual? Good clarification. Yeah. Like the (laughs) interest rates are high. The the, that which is just and that's pretty much it. it. Just driving buyers to kind of wait and think a little bit more mm-hmm. about whether they want to afford that mortgage payment. But people are getting used to it. And it's like there's a lot of products that you can buy your rate down. So it's not as crazy expensive as it was like four or five months ago. Yeah, that's that's fair. And I think like now a lot of people are coming to us being like, oh, I want to buy a sneaky duplex or or like have a sneaky duplex or, you know, make income for my house. So it's it's cool to like – actually have those opportunities again and not be like okay we just need to throw offers out on 10 homes and hope for the best with 20 percent down and and 100k in extra resources because we might not be able to get it or might not appraise like people are able to put a lot less money down now which is opening up a lot of options for people yes exactly i don't know if you all know what future front is but we just um did a workshop with them because they were having a, a conference in Austin. So they're, I guess they're, they're like a, they're kind of like they, we have similar values to them. They're very into community. So essentially they are like a community space yeah. showcase series with women and LGBTQ and creatives at the front. So they're very much a safe space for creatives and women and the queer community. Um, and we got to do a workshop at their conference that they had and it was, amazing our agents um jen and mandy hosted it and it was so lovely it was amazing and it was such a high-end experience Mm -hmm. like it was a brand new building at university of texas which is my alma mater so it was kind of weird um but they put us up in this like lecture room with high-tech stuff and a great view and it was really it was just cool and people messaged me on instagram i should send this to you actually but people were like it's been so fun to watch your um your progress as a company and just like what you're doing for people it's really awesome and i was like oh it is cool i love i love hearing that um because sometimes it's like you do a million things and you're like does this matter like is it helping but it's so it's nice to hear from people it's nice to get reviews on the podcast it's nice to know that like what we're doing is helpful to people um and so what they were teaching is um creative ways to get into real estate with um an emphasis on partnerships so it was so fun after like a lot of people came up and were like i you know didn't know you guys existed. Like I'm working with a realtor right now and they're like really not getting what I want. And I'm so glad that I found you all. And there was another girl who was like, I literally just talked to my best friends today about like buying a house together. And then my friend sent me this workshop and I came and it's like all aligning. So it was, it was really, she was so excited and I I love like seeing that it's invigorating. It is amazing. And we we do get that so often. It's like, I wish I would have known about you before I bought my house. And that is okay. That's like, we're here for you. Mm-hmm. And we had someone who had just closed on a house um, and she had a poor experience with her lender and she was like, left them a bad review and they were like, what could we do? And she's like, no, no, you just do be better. Mm-hmm. And we were like, damn, like next time you're re- ready. And she was like, I'm definitely, definitely coming to y'all mm-hmm. because it does feel nice to be held and your hand held and make sure that you're you're getting the right lender recommendations, getting the right recommendations in general. It just it matters a lot. That's so true. I just saw this. Oh my god, do I mention a TikTok every single time we? Talk? 
<laughs> you could just replace it with New York Times if we're good. I, on the New York Times, I saw this video. Um, and it was like, it was like a funny trending sound and thing. It was like, essentially my realtor, like doing no work, selling me like this house and like getting a commission and like ghosting me after the process. And I was yeah. like, never seeing them again. I never, yeah. Did you see that one? I was just like, oh my yeah. God. Uh, that's, that's what most people think. Like that's like the, mm-hmm. that's, yeah. And that's why we exist is like, we will walk, we will handhold you through this process. And then after we don't leave you, we have a community. If you want to opt in, you, you know, we have three events you can come to, um, a month. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah. (laughs) Feeling like you're part of a community in this huge purchase is so incredibly valuable because yeah, when you buy a house, you can feel like you're on an Island. Right. And what is this? No one told me this. And not all your friends and family are buying houses or at least not buying right then and there. You know, maybe they did it like 10 years ago. Things change every year. Every single year we are learning new, like it's not the same every, even oh, month like, to month. It's yes, not exactly. the same. It is. It's amazing. So having people who are like keyed in, extremely keyed in, like not the person that does two deals a year because they're your cousin and you want to give them business. It's mm-hmm. like, this is a, this is high stakes. Yeah. Like support high your stakes. your cousin in a different way, but like not yeah. like this is too high stakes for you. Just be like, oh yeah, like I'll put my, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars into at least like if they have a mentor or something, but like <laughs> it's, yes. it's, yeah, it's shocking how people are like, they just, you know, find a house on Zillow and they're like, I guess this is the realtor that's connected with this house. I'll work with them. But like no one's oh. teaching them otherwise. So can't blame Right, them. right. It's, it's confusing and it's meant to be confusing. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're like, see this house today. And the, the that button is so tempting. Yes. It's so tempting. Yes. Because and- it's like, I actually do want to see this house today. And y'all, do you know what Zillow is? It is a lead generation for realtors. So people, realtors pay. Like when I got my license years ago, I started working with this realtor who did so much in sales and I was like she was like mentoring me but she bought so she paid like 20k a month in mm-hmm. ad or in um in what Lead. leads, leads for right, Zillow yeah. and so essentially anytime someone pressed that button she would get we would get a call and I would pick up or someone and I just hated yeah. it it felt so bad because that happened to me when I was trying to buy a house I was you know, like you know 22 didn't know anything and was just like oh this looks cool like yeah let me see and that agent is not associated that is not the listing agent the person that meets you there is nothing to do with that house mm-hmm. they have just purchased that space on the internet it's an ad so just just be aware and and we don't blame anyone because it it is genuinely meant to be confusing yeah. but that's why we exist to let you know your options and to make sure that you have the right team because mm-hmm. this is not this is not this is very this is very important right <laughs> and that's how zillow gets its money like they yeah. make money from um, getting your information because hopefully you'll, yeah, yeah, they'll sell it to an agent. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> of Zillow. God. Yes. Um, but yeah, that was amazing. And well, how are you? Anything, anything else to. Mm, good. Ooh, I'm hosting a Galentine's party this weekend. Um, I, I think, yeah, obviously, you know, you're coming, but <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> I know it's so weird to like to talk to each other because we know, but yeah. like yeah, everybody else, it's it's so it's so it's such a cute idea. It's you have to bring three three of your favorite things. Yes, I, I again saw this on influenced by TikTok of like a favorite things party. <laughs> so I saw this like yeah, you you so you bring three of your favorite things, the same thing. So like if you're like oh my gosh, I've used this face wash. I love it. It's like changed my life. Used it since I was like in my teens. Whatever you bring three of those. You would then like say why you like it to the group and then everyone draws a number. And then so after everyone goes through and tells everyone what their product or whatever, it could be a book is, then you take turns like going and picking one. So everyone leaves with three new kind of cool things that um, such, a, such a good idea. So I'm yes. excited. Yeah, I know. Um, so cute. And all, I mean, we're all about women. I just love women so much. And it's like we have – we both of you and I both have a lot of fem- women friends or <laughs> friends who are women. And, and I have some friends who are men as well, but I just much prefer to hang out with women. Yes. I don't know if I have any guy friends. Like I have a couple. <laughs> um, 
but like we don't we haven't yeah it's like a different friendship it's it's yeah it yeah it, so I would I. consider you, you friends with Alan and like Matt. That's true. Matt. That's true. I do have – it's – that's that's a good point. I, but I think like – yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we are friends. <laughs> but and it doesn't exist – like it doesn't exist without me or it doesn't exist without Eric. Right, exactly. So, like, that, that makes sense. Or it doesn't exist without Cosette. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it's all connected with, through someone. Mm-hmm. I it's, a, it's an interesting – it's interesting. But I do love – Galentine's. I think it's the sweetest tradition. We you had a really good party last year too. Mm, that was fun. Yeah, we did it at our retreat house. If you yes. don't remember, me and Steph renovated. We bought a retreat house with our other friend Celeste and renovated it. And it's for retreats. It's for our community as well. We, whenever we do like giveaways, um, that's like something we give away. Does that make sense? And actually, <laughs> yes, um, we have. It does. I think so. Um, one of my friends who bought with our referral agent in Houston is there right now. She booked it, and Aww. I'm gonna go up there and hang out with her tonight. Oh, we ugh, we need to use. We need to like go up there more. Like I know we really do. It, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, just remember to enjoy your spaces. <laughs> Seriously, I mean that's yeah. That's why. We have it, and it's so lovely. Being, whenever I'm up there, I'm like, oh, it's so nice. Yes. The view is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think you need to tell people about your new podcast. Oh, my God. Yes. Well, didn't we – did we talk about this already? We kind no. of, but the, at the end of the last episode. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm obsessed with talking to people on – air. And I, I started a podcast called A Circle is Round about friendship, about adult friendship and making friends after like the structures of school forced you into having friends mm-hmm. um, or like, you know, the forced repeated exposure that creates what friends are. And it's just harder when you're an adult. Yeah. So yeah, I, it's a, it's a, like a interview that we don't interview anyone yet, but we're going to, but me and my friend Julia talk about friendship. Yeah. And I think like I wanted you to talk about it today also because we are talking about our women investor meetup and like why we started it. And I think like, so you posted a TikTok that went pretty viral about you buying with friends, buying your ranch house with friends. And every time we post anything about buying with our friends, people are just like, this is going to go wrong. How do you have five friends? I would never like, I, I, how do you find friends? I don't I, – I could never do this with anyone. It's going to ruin a friendship. And so, it, like, we wanted to do an episode on our Women Investor Meetup because we hear that so often. And it's – So often. It, it was, like, hundreds of comments, literally, that said, I don't have five – I don't even have one friend. Mm-hmm. It's like, no. And I think what they meant is, like, I don't have a friend that I would do this with. Like, I can't think of anyone. Right. Um, and that's but fair. That, like, yeah. Like, it's it's a new concept. Like, of course, you're not going to immediately be like, "Oh, I would do it with my roommate or whatever." Like, you're you have to give this some thought. But that's the whole point of us telling people about this is because we want you to kind of break those traditional mindset uh, barriers or like what you typically think about when you think about real estate. Because you don't you don't when you think about buying your first house, you don't think about buying it with your friend. Right. Yeah, it's definitely it is not the typical path because the typical path, it's still done. I mean, we're in 2023, but really it's like you get it a partner, you guys share a rental apartment together and then you get married and then you buy a house. And like that's what people think you have to do. And it's just not. And and they think that I think they're also like they think that and they still do it that way because of the cost. It's not getting cheaper. It's not getting easier which is annoying because it should be with more technology. Like it should be getting easier and it should be more affordable. It should just not be so complicated. Um, But it is. And that's why people are still buying with their partners or they're still waiting until like, I think they think when you think about buying your first house, you probably think of buying it by yourself somehow, some way, like you have to buy it by yourself or you buy it with your significant other. And yep. If if that was the case for us, we would be waiting for – we would have waited until like recently. Like I feel yeah. like – Oh, neither of us are married and we own multiple properties. Like we wouldn't have anything. Yeah. And and I think we've talked about this recently with someone, how it just starts with a seed. Like it starts with like a, someone else doing it and you're like, oh, wait. Mm-hmm. And then like a whole world is opened up to you, which is why we post these videos and a lot of people are like, no, never. But at least it's entering their mind. Like it's okay if they don't want to do that, but at least they can – 
consider it. And like we're we're trying to get this in front of people who are 24 and living with their roommates and have potentially have like six thousand dollars that they could pool together with someone else's six thousand dollars and buy a house together. Yeah. And even if even if you can't do it in that moment, it doesn't take it, it takes time. It it's not easy and it takes planning. So like if this is if you are listening and you're like, oh, I am 25 or 24 and I'm listening to this and I don't have six thousand dollars, like start talking to people about it, start saving money. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I wanted – so our Women Investor Meetup is a – so it's something that we do. We host every month. We do it at our office. It's usually a group of like 15 to 25 women, sometimes smaller, which is – honestly can be really nice. It's like very intimate. It's very <laughs> inclusive. So if someone walks in and they don't know anyone – We literally, we will go up to you and talk to you and like, we will make you feel welcomed. Um, And why did we start this group, Steph? Oh, man. So when when you and I met, we were both, we were 24, 25, 26-ish. And we were interested in this real estate investing topic. We were like, what is this? Mm -hmm. And the only things available to us were these like networking groups or these, you know, investor meetups. And we were like, oh, we we should go to these. Like this is a good place to learn. And so we went and we've been saying this a lot, but like it it was literally in the back room of a Chili's (laughs) multiple. I mean, we went to not not just one. We didn't just go to one and like try it out and then no, we went to or like a ballroom of a weird old hotel, like motel (laughs) situation. Like Exactly. Like and some space that they got for like 75 bucks or something yeah. for the night. And it was mostly men. I mean, what what would you say? Like 90% men? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And they, they were either trying to hit on us like, oh, like some young girls coming in or they were bragging about how many properties they have yeah. or – Or they were wholesalers like, being like talking like yes. really in code of like what they did. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Are you a wholesaler? And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, when did you get into this? And they were like, oh, like last week. And I was like – Okay. I mean, fine. But like, what are you – I don't – Yeah, it's just like felt scammy and like weird. Not yes, our values at all. <laughs> no. But we were trying, it, right? It, yes. It took that to kind of be like, we need to make – we need to create something that does not exist right now mm-hmm. for us. And so we kind of – we created this group so that women could come, not feel like they're going to get hit on or pitched to. And then – so, so then also so they can feel comfortable to talk through these things and talk to through the, these things with other people who are experiencing similar things. Exactly. And like I even – I did try meeting up with women. Like I went to a woman investor group, but it it didn't – it felt so st- like stagnant, like stale. Like it just was like I walked in and I didn't feel excited. It was like I just couldn't find that anywhere. And so yeah. Steph and I decided to start this. Um, and also like recently we've been talking about in, our, in the um, women investor group, like showing people how partnerships work, like how you can see yourself as a good partner or not, like start looking at what you bring to the table. Um do you bring time? Do you have money? Do you have a W-2 job? Do you have any experience or like anyone in your, you know, friend group have experience where you could like bring them in also? So you have to know what you bring to the table too. So we we are just constantly te- like trying to teach people how to get into real estate. To, for us, it was through partnering. And I think yeah. in Austin right now, it's like, that is probably still the best way if you're in like a really hot market and you want to start now, like instead of waiting four years until you can do it by yourself, like see who's into your network. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. Like that we're not only does it feel better, we're also teaching these kind of creative and scrappy, if you will, ways to get into real estate without having tons and tons of cash. Yeah. So that is really valuable to people who are like, I want to be in this world, but I don't have any clue how. Mm-hmm. And this like kind of creative way to approach it. Like, what do you have to offer? Because you have something. Right. And what do you need to make this work? Because if you do have to wait four years, you could be losing a lot of money. Like a lot, a lot. It's so true. If we had waited, like we both jumped in with partners when we bought pro- our first properties. And like, I just learned so much. It's not the same way I do it today. But if I hadn't jumped in, I wouldn't have felt that confidence to like get me to the next step. 
Um, so I, I'm so glad that I did partner, even if it was like not perfect. Like I bought with one of my good friends um, and we bought something that like just to like it was very inexpensive. It was like older. So it was it had a lot of issues at first. We had to like learn a lot. We tried to do stuff ourselves. So it it was a great learning experience and it kind of elevated me to the next property. Absolutely. You have to go through that phase first. And we someone asked us recently, like, why do you all know all this? Like, why do you know this? And how can you teach it? And we were like, Well, we we made a lot of mistakes. Like yeah. we did a lot. We were really, we were really, really motivated to do this and we were gonna do it regardless of whether it was hard or not. Mm -hmm. And why we exist now as a company is because we're trying to help people to not go through as much as we did to essentially get the results hopefully that we've gotten or whatever results people are wanting without having to go through all of that. Right. And I it's funny because I don't think either one of us was like, that was a mistake. We were just like, well, yeah. that didn't work or we didn't love that. And like never we never were like that was wrong or like never again. It was just like it, we somehow we knew it was part of the process. I don't know. We were just like, this is exciting. One of our values. So true. Real estate is exciting. <laughs> Exactly. And people ask us too, like, what are some of your failures? And obviously we were not perfect in this, but we don't look at it. They don't look at them as failures. We look at it as we learned so much. We we have real estate grad school. We, mm -hmm. we talk about this, I think, in some yes. somewhere, but it's like we basically got our, our graduate degrees in real estate by experience. Exactly. And I like in with our company goals, like that's still one of our goals is like every year if we can swing it or every couple of years to do a new project because we're constantly learning that way and that helps us be better educators. So yes. Yeah. Um but so um the last event we hosted has been my favorite we've done so far. It was it was so cute. It was lovely. Like we so um going back to talking about partners, I think a lot of people are like, as we said before, how would you know who to partner with? Or like, I don't have friends to partner with. So we created an event to help people with that. So we did like a like a speed dating sort of like event, but it was for women to find other people to partner with. And we, yes. we told people like come into this not thinking like, like don't think like, oh, I have to find someone to partner with and or if I shouldn't come if I'm not ready for this. Like come with an open mind and this will help you learn what you bring to the table and like see what other people are bringing to the table. So it was so cute. Every How many? We had like, I don't know, like 20, 20 people. 20, yeah, 20 ish. It was so sweet. It was, and it was, we, we decided to do it pretty structured. Like we've spent four minutes each, each partnership and partnership, I mean, just like couple, quote unquote. Right. Um, and everybody got to talk to everybody about their goals. And it's, in it in itself, like not only are you looking for partners, you're also expanding your mind. Yes. Like you're talking to every single person in this room and they're telling you their real estate goals. And once people tell you that, you're like, oh, if that could be your goal, right. That, something like that could be my goal too. You know, like it's it's expansive. It's it's that's so true. And um, so when people came into the door, we gave them like these little business cards. They were so cute that um, they could write their information on. So because four minutes can go by really quick. So you're like, yeah. the whole point was like, sit down. What do you bring to the table? What do I bring to the table? Who? What are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? And then here's my information. You know, we can talk at another time if we connected. Um, and what I loved at the end of this event, this lady who I guess she has renovated a bunch of homes and she has a lot of experience. She was just like, we talked about, we asked the group, like, what was your aha moment? And she was like, I love like helping people. So I love being here because I, you know, I am looking for a partnership, like a partner. Um, but I have the experience and I love like talking to these women and like showing them what you can do. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Like we're not the only ones here, like who are teaching, like everyone in this group has some, something to teach, um, even us. Absolutely. So, if, oh my God. Yeah. That the the range of experience is really amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's people coming in and being like, I don't have anyone else to talk to about this, and I just did this amazing thing. And and then there's also people who are like, I don't even own a home. Like I I just want to be in this world, which is 
amazing. They're the ones that are learning. We're teaching. Other people are teaching. It's really cool. Right. Like you can come to this group and be like, I love my renting situation because I live downtown. I have really good like affordable rent for me, but I want a creative outlet. Like I want, I'm like want to own a mountain house with people or I want something like I want to invest in something. And so this is a great place to come. So yeah. Yeah, and we really, really believe in in the fact that property own property ownership is important for wealth building and for giving people the power that they power and wealth that they deserve. And not everyone has access to this information. So if you're surrounding yourself by people who are also have similar goals and want to do this for the right reasons, like for community, mm-hmm. for creativity, it's like this is this is the invest type of investing I want to do. I don't want to do the type of investing that those men were doing at the meetups that we were going to initially. Gosh, it was <laughs> honestly wild. Like I want to like, no, I was like, I want, I want to be like, w- should we help you? Like, do you need to, you need to elevate this space. It's like all just like bland and mm-hmm. there's always a sales pitch after and it just feels gross. But yeah. anyway. <laughs> and, and not to like bring up this, br- this brand slash company, or roast them. <laughs> but when we when we started our company, we had someone helping us and they were like, "What brand do you not want to be like?" Mm-hmm. And we were like, "We don't want to be like bigger pockets." Mm-hmm. Like we we think that that's the vibe. Like what those meetups we were going to, that was a bigger pockets vibe yeah. that was very like the branding was ugly. Not that that really matters, but it's just like that's their values are shown in the fact that they don't have a creative, you know, brand in right. general. They don't like yeah, like the way we see real estate is it's not just like purely lucrative, right? Like for us it's it's community, like what like it's what can I can I bring in other people to work on this with me? Um can I make like this space better? Uh it's it's also creativity. Like for me like I like I, I feel like I'm a pretty creative person even when I was younger and like I felt like I lost that a little bit um, when I was in kind of like hustle mode right out of college yeah. um, and real estate really brought that back to me. It, it was it's yeah. so nice to like even just yesterday I was talking to my sister. She's like actually maybe I shouldn't say this but she's just like I want to do uh, big projects and I want to like you know she had all these big ideas of like what she wanted to do. And I was like, I mean, if you want to work with us, but anyway, so (laughs) she um, was, it was, it it was so fun to talk about it because when she was talking, it had nothing to do. I mean, obviously she wants that to like be her full-time job and make, and like make her money. But like, it wasn't what she was talking about the most. She was like, I want to bring in, like, I want to make spaces so good for people and like a luxury experience, but not because I asked her, I was like, well, would this be an affordable experience or like pure like luxury? And she's like luxury experience, but like affordable because she for her job, like they work with a lot of like celebrities and stuff. And um, it's it's crazy what they offer these people that we don't ever we don't even know about. And she's like, yeah. it's not even like you can make this pretty affordable add ons, like a la carte add ons, like having um, a birthday party set up when you arrive to the house or so anything like that where it doesn't cost that much, but it does take like effort and time and yeah. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. Creativity. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. And I do, I mean, the, the whole thing, I mean, we've used real estate to make our lives so good. We've mm-hmm. used real estate and we've used business, you know, like we're, we're, we've been pretty creative about how we've designed our lives. And I do think that real estate is such a big part of that. But we were to the point where we're like, oh, wait, this is like the point of this isn't to get money. Like it isn't. Mm -hmm. It's to be able to spend our time the way we want to, to spend our energy doing things that we love creatively with the people that we really like. And like that's that's what we want to instill in our community, in our following, and in hopefully in like the, um, the investing that everybody does who is in our community. What about so people who are not in Austin who are so basically if you're in Austin you should join us right you should join us come to our events um, if you're but if you're not in Austin um, we still think you should join our group and we have a yeah. Facebook group like and there are people trying to buy all over the country in there mm-hmm. um, because we can still so we <laughs> going back to like not all realtors are the same, right? So I wish we existed in every state. We don't at this moment, but we do have connections with realtors with who are like-minded to us all over the country. So 
you can join our women investor group. There's always people sharing tips, um, looking to partner in different states. And um, also, if you are looking for a realtor who is similar, like like minded to us, um, we can connect connect you with someone. Yeah. And and you can get stuff from our Facebook group because it is it's popping. Like there's people on there all the time asking for advice, asking for recommendations, sharing their projects. So I know Facebook isn't everybody's first choice, but it is a really good place for people to kind of join together if you're not in the same city. Yes. And actually, yeah, it's it's tricky because like someone at the um workshop we did with Future Front last week and asked like okay, well, how do I, they were talking about um, investing from afar and like managing their property. And they were like, how do I do this? Like, how do I manage my property from afar? And I was like, I mean, the way I did it was like, I found really good Facebook groups. And I just like found people in there who wanted to jump on the phone and I asked their opinion on stuff and it was so helpful. So um, yeah, not it's Facebook still kind of relevant for that. <laughs> yeah. Or meta, and, whatever and it, they want to be called these yeah, days. Oh my God. Yeah. Whatever it is. It is. I mean, nothing's been created that's better right now. Um, so we use that as like a community base. And then, and then, yeah, if you know anyone in Austin, share this with them so they can come because it is the energy in those meetups is pretty, pretty amazing. Right. And if you're in Austin, eh, you should be working with us. Like if you <laughs> really should, like, I, I know obviously I'm biased, but like, I just don't like there is no one there is no brokerage not even in this whole country that does what we do there truly yeah. isn't that's why we like created this company there's no one that will like that has we have community meetups every single month where you can come talk to not only the person you worked with like the realtor you worked with either Jen Alan Sydney Mandy um but you can also talk to me or Steph like you can talk to any one of us pick our brains yes get a free couple drinks on us. Um, we have our women investor meetup. We have so many free resources for you. We're continuing to create new resources, um, not just for people trying to buy, but also beyond that. So yeah. 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 So much support after. And we have, we have people who come to our community meetups who bought with us like three years ago mm -hmm. and they're just like, I, I have questions about this or I just want to be surrounded by people who love real estate <laughs> and, you know, and are going to keep me updated on the taxes, on the homestead, on like all these things that are literally foreign languages to people because it's not taught anywhere else. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, if you're, you know, if you haven't joined a group, please do. Um, I know a lot of men listen to our show too. Um, don't <laughs> invite your, <laughs> tell your friends to come. I, we don't, I mean, actually we should talk about why it's a woman investor meetup and not like we thought about opening it up, but why did we not Steph? Well, it's, it's a safe space. It's like, it is, there's nothing really like this that exists. And I do think, and I, and like, obviously this is a huge generalization, but overall, like I do think that men talk to their friends about investing yeah. more than women. Actually, I think it's studied um, that like men are going to mention these in their so social circles and women just aren't as prone to talking about these things. Mm -hmm. So providing a space for women to talk about this with other women and be inspired and learn and not worry about someone taking over <laughs> or whatever a man, man would do mm -hmm. is it's a it's powerful right like if we could be like men come in but you literally can't say one word <laughs> then we would do it but it's just it's not that wouldn't be beneficial for anyone um yeah and it wouldn't feel great like the energy would be weird but yeah um we do offer like that's why we say come to our community meetup because we are still yes. talking about investing there um and anyone can come obviously We'd love for you to work with us because we are also a company and like, how do we get paid? Like we're giving so much free stuff away. Um, the least, yes. you know, just work with us. Uh <laughs> yes. um, we, we have been bad about mentioning that because we do get so much joy out of this. But yeah, the point, the point of this is for us to um, help you to realize your potential and then connect you with the best possible people to help you. And that's our our real estate, real estate, real That's our agents. Yes. And truly, I mean, they're so incredible. And me and Christina talk about this all the time because we don't work with clients anymore. Our agents are, are 10 times better than we ever were. Yes. And, and they're all investors. They house hack. Yeah. They've utilized Airbnb and they're on top of the market. Like they are in it constantly. So yeah. And we 
we work, I mean, we see them every single week and we literally, every single person that they talk to, that they work with, that they, I mean, if you're working with one of our agents right now, we've talked about you mm-hmm. <laughs> in a good way, in like mm-hmm. a way where we're like, okay, what, we're how can we help solving them? Problem solving. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's why like real estate is such a solo. I know this is kind of like behind the scenes. We talked about Zillow too. It's such a solo career or it can be yeah. where literally people are just working by themselves all day without huge access to resources or other people. And so having a whole team behind you is huge. That's so true. Like I remember when I first got my license, my real estate license, the reason I joined Keller Williams was because they promised that they would mentor me. They were like, oh my gosh, we have so many resources. We'll have mentorship, da, 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 classes. And like, no, they, it was like <laughs> no. a pyramid scheme to me. Like it yeah. literally, like they make their money on the fees of new agents. And like, they have such um what's what's what are they, is it called when people in the door out the door oh yeah the, the revolving yeah. yeah i don't remember that well, i don't anyway but um turnover, turnover. Turn, there we go yeah yes, um yes, yes. so oh. such high turnover that i was like even like i was on a team there and like did not get support they were just like make me money and i was just yeah, like you can't <laughs> yeah you can't manufacture the energy of like a, a really good culture fit or really good team morale. And we really pride ourselves in that. And in fact, we get, I mean, we get emails quite often of people like, we're looking for a new brokerage. I'm looking for a new brokerage. Mm-hmm. And we're like, okay, sorry. Like we're not, we're, we're not trying to just rack up agents. We're trying to make sure that our agents stay strong and that we stay like incredibly quality. Yes. And we can give everyone like we do a lot for our agents too, right? So they can just concentrate on customer service and teaching their clients and getting the best deal for them. Because otherwise, if you're just a lone agent, right? Like you have to do your own marketing. You have to do your own follow-up. You have to like just like make your own calendar, like plan your calendar and like schedule calls and this and that. It's just a lot. Yeah. And most agents are spending their time and money on like a bus ad or like a, you know, park bench or whatever it is. And that's just, that's not us. We're trying to actually give people what they need and what they want. And so, yeah, I just feel like we're, we're different and we're here to be the the most quality experience. And that's why you should work with us. Yeah. (laughs) We literally have some, we have hired someone that's their main job is like quality um customer service is like making sure everyone yeah is shout out to gracie (laughs) um great (laughs) anything else we need to say um i don't think so i mean we're everywhere i've i said that at the (laughs) at the um fun thing too we're literally everywhere now we're on youtube oh my gosh yes go take homeschool like if you are listening and you are not in austin um our course is available for you to go take and it has everything you need to know about buying your first house and lots of investor lessons as well so um free on youtube yeah yeah amazing um and then yeah youtube instagram tiktok facebook (laughs) everywhere (laughs) so come find us our website everybody everything well we're all over the place yeah okay well thanks y'all see you next week (laughs) bye